Hey everyone, in this video I'll be making cauldron cakes, at least attempting to, and um, these are inspired by the Wizarding Worlds of Harry Potter, the theme parks version, and I'll leave a link to where I learned to make this down below in the description box. First, you're going to bake some cupcakes with a chocolate cake box mix of choice or a homemade recipe. It's up to you what you want to do. And let your cupcakes cool completely for a few hours or even overnight. Then you'll need one box of chocolate pudding mix, preferably the instant kind, but the cook and serve kind is okay too. Um, the box says to add two cups of milk, but I added one and a half to make the consistency thicker. Then I went ahead and followed the rest of the box directions, and then I put that in the refrigerator to let the pudding set and cool down. Then you're going to take one tub of whipped topping like Cool Whip and mix it in with the pudding and cover it and refrigerate it. Then take your cupcakes and use a sharp knife to carve out the middle of the bottom of your cupcake and it's best to keep your knife at an angle. Do this to all your cupcakes and set them aside. Then I melted two bags of chocolate in a microwavable safe bowl in 30 second intervals until it was completely melted. Then I dipped each of my cupcakes into the chocolate and placed them on wax paper right side up and let them set completely. Once the chocolate on the cupcakes was set completely, I turned them over and put the rest of the melted chocolate into a squeeze bottle and made three little dots surrounding the cauldron to make the cauldron's feet. You don't need to use a squeeze bottle, you can just put it in a Ziploc bag and cut a little corner off the Ziploc bag. I also made the cauldron handles on wax paper using the chocolate like so and I put them in the refrigerator so they can set faster. Then I poured chocolate frosting in a Ziploc bag and cut a corner and squeezed a thick line around the top of the cupcake for the cauldron rim. I also took the pudding and Cool Whip mixture and put it in a Ziploc bag and cut the corner off and poured it into each of my cauldrons. And lastly, I took the chocolate handles that I made out of the refrigerator and started placing them on top of my cauldrons into the chocolate frosting like so. And that's it. I hope you guys uh, tried to make the cauldron cakes yourself because they were really fun to make and they were so effing yummy. It was really hard not to devour everything in each step. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys like this video and thanks for watching.